Did you know that roughly 3 million Americans have suffered vision loss due to glaucoma? Well, the condition is known as the sneak thief of sight. Here to tell us more about our vision health is Dr. Tan V. Shah. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Great. All right. So tell us, what is glaucoma? Glaucoma is pressure in the eye mm -hmm. that causes loss of peripheral vision. So most patients actually don't know they even have glaucoma. Oh. Wow. So how would someone go about finding that they do have it? Routine eye exams. So the American Academy of Ophthalmology recommends the eye exams after the age of 40 mm -hmm. to, to have a full exam where your eye pressure is checked and you're dilated to look inside to see if there's any damage from glaucoma and eye pressure. Okay, so once, what is the most common question when patients see you that they ask once they're diagnosed? What can I do for it? Okay. And unlike high blood pressure, there is no pressure cutoff point. So it's not that one number is good for every patient. Mm -hmm. The eye pressure number is individualized to each patient based on multiple measurements. And the treatment is usually lifelong of eye drops. Wow. Okay. okay, so you always have to maintain it. Correct. Is there any way to prevent glaucoma? No, unfortunately there isn't any way to prevent glaucoma and there's no way to detect it either without a complete eye exam. Okay, so what are some of the causes? Is it, her is it hereditary? So it tends to run in families, okay. um, especially if you have a first degree relative, in particular a sibling. Okay. Older age, so over the age of 70, you have a three and a half times more likely risk than at someone at the age of 40. Um, and then it tends to be more difficult to detect in people that are nearsighted or myopic. Okay. So those patients, the back of their eye just looks different than the average patient. So it's a little harder to pick up glaucoma. So we watch those patients a little bit more closely. Oh. African Americans or Caribbean descent and Hispanics. So African American and Caribbean descent have a three to four times more likely risk of developing glaucoma and Hispanics one to two times more. Wow. Wow. So if you're saying that there's treatment is usually eye drops, is there a surgical option for treatment? Absolutely. So what we generally do is start with eye drops first mm -hmm. because it's less invasive, laser treatment. If you are either refractory, meaning you don't respond well to the eye drops or have a hard time taking them. And then there's different surgical options also. Minimally invasive glaucoma surgery is a new front line and then um, more invasive surgical options to help lower the eye pressure. The whole treatment option is to lower the eye pressure to the point where you don't progress. So routine okay. follow-ups, multiple checkups to make sure the pressure is controlled and you aren't progressing. So nothing that people can do really to prevent it. Can you talk to us about how the treatment has changed over the years? Yeah, so the only thing to do to prevent it is routine eye exams. So it's mm -hmm. detected early so you don't end up losing right. vision. And then treatment has changed by introducing more surgical and laser options, more minimally invasive surgeries so that the recovery is a little bit faster. However, the minimally invasive surgeries tend to work less effectively. They don't lower your pressure nearly as much as some of the more invasive surgical options. Wow, well all of this information can help somebody out there possibly save their own vision. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming on and talking to Absolutely. us today. Absolutely, thank you thank for having you. us.